Uh, this is a fair warning. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I've been sick all week. But anyways, now we're finally getting to the videos that people requested me to do. Gregory Animations is a channel with around 5,000 subscribers. He's most well known for making Lego stop motions, including his Spider-Man Sinister Six video, which was the video I was originally intending to do a review on until he released his Lego Superman movie. That's the video I'm going to be doing a review on today. So... And, uh, fair warning, like, just, this won't even be a part of the warning, but, uh, when, I know I voice acted in this video, and I'm not gonna review that, cause, since I voice acted in the video, I feel like it would be too biased of me, for me to rate my own performance, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, time for the real warning. Now, this video will not suck tits, like Homecoming, or Far From Home. Now, it'll be better than any of those movies. This is all constructive criticism. And I might make some jokes in the way. If I do, it's alright. We won't agree on everything, so I don't care how many dislikes this video gets. Now, I'm gonna start it with story. Now, the first half of the video story is really good. Where J. Jonah Jameson starts to run the Daily Planet, I think that's a great idea. And he really executed it well. Now, the second half... Like, my only complaint with it is it might be a little too cliche, but it's nothing terrible and all. So, uh, yeah, pretty good story. Also, you guys may be like, what do you mean cliche? Well, what I'm trying to explain here is that it's just S Lex Luthor turns on Superman and has a final boss fight. While it's a little cliche, I've learned over, like, the past couple of months that the final boss fight is a necessary inclusion to every superhero video or movie. Because it's just, it's the perfect finale. With characters, I'm going to start out with Superman. Superman is a great character in this video. And if you're going to make a comedic video with Superman as a character, I feel like this is one of the videos you can model it off of. My favorite interpretation of Superman ever was Christopher Reeves in Superman 1. But this... This shows how to make a good Superman in a comedic video. It doesn't show that Superman needs to be serious. It shows that Superman can be funny. So, I really like Sam's interpretation here. Now, I'm going to talk about the main villain of this video, Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is portrayed really well in this video. That's just the perfect way of making Lex Luthor's character. It reminds me of him from, like, Superman the Animated Series, how great he is. Now, the thing about Lex Luthor is that Superman isn't his main objective in life. His main objective is to get through life, but he wants Superman out. That's what makes a good Lex Luthor. Someone who isn't just, Ah, oh, Superman bad, kill Superman. But he wants to do other things, but Superman gets in the way. So, he wants to stop Superman. That's how you make a good version of Lex Luthor. Now, Lois Lane in this video is another great character. Sam really seems to knock it out of the park with his writing in this video specifically. Now, her chemistry with Clark is perfect. And the way she acts around Superman is like... The way she acts around Superman to Clark is actually... The way it's written is incredible. It shows that she both loves Clark and Superman. And she won't give away Superman's secret. Now, it's time to talk about the voice acting. Starting with Superman, I feel like he does a pretty good job. My only problem is his voice is very strange for a Superman character. It seems more like a uh, Morgan Freeman type of thing. But uh, it's not anything terrible. Especially when he, convey he conveys enough emotion to be Superman. It's just the voice isn't really there for me. Lois Lane's pretty great. Uh, she doesn't really have too many problems. In fact, she's probably better than most people in this video. Uh, Brick Tavern does a pretty good job. I just feel like his voice is a little bland, but that's kind of how his performance will always, like, go off well. He has a dry voice just in general, so it goes off well, clearly. And then, there's also CJ Productions, who is just like, uh, I mean, he tried, definitely. But he doesn't, I feel like he conveys a lot of emotion, but he's another one of those people who's like, Sir, we gotta get in here. So he hasn't. Like, he just seems a little too scripted when he speaks. And of course, 
There's my boy, Sam, doing his Rick Sanchez impression, which is actually really good. I think Sam's a great voice actor. Now, time to talk about what Sam does best, his animation. He really works on this. It's so good. You could tell it's consistent. He uses easing in and easing out all the time. His animation looks so natural. This is something that makes Sam by far one of the best brick filmers at this point. I really think his animation's really well. He's one of the people who I model my animation off of. Him, Brick Tavern, Forrest, it's like those guys. Also, Keshin, we can't forget about him. But just Sam, the animation also goes great with the story, the characters, and the voice acting. It has this feeling, and it's so good.